Hey guys and gals, how we doing? It's me, Joe Sires, back here from the Music Factory Studios. Today I want to ask the Linux experts out there if they can answer this question for me because I found something new that I haven't seen before on the Pinebook Pro. So basically I'm on Pinebook Pro and I'll show you. I'm on Manjaro, GNOME. This is GNOME 40.4 and I'm running kernel 5.14.1. This is the Pinebook Pro, which runs an RK3399, I think. BPY top, that will tell me what it is. RK3399, I'm pretty sure. It's a rock chip. Yeah, RK3399 says right here. Um, everything works as it should. And I hooked up my audio interface to the pine book and i got this new option now most of the time you'll get your normal speakers headphones and your audio interface right but this time in the drop down menu it was accidentally on my output it had multi-channel input so i went to switch it to multi-channel output like i always do on every other machine and i see this new option that says pro audio and i'm like huh so i put both my input and my output to pro audio and it works really well. No issues, no problems, no nothing. I've had no issues, but I, I've searched all over the internet. I can't find any answers. I can't find anything that even remotely talks about it. I've, I found a few articles that talk about how pipe wire is the future, but I don't think this is pipe wire, and here's why. So when I go in here and I check the awesome mixer, right? So if we open the awesome mixer here, my card is Pulse Audio, not Pipe Wire. The chip is Pulse Audio, so they, it's using Pulse Audio. If I go into my system information, the uh, sound version is the Advanced Linux Sound Architecture, or ALSA. So it's not Pipe Wire, and it shows the, the uh, different sound cards we have here, the XR18 and the... Uh, the headphone port and the speakers on the laptop and so everything is like it normally is but there's this new option there right and I'm kind of curious as to why that option is there is there something special about having your audio input and output configuration in the pulse or in the pro audio mode or should it be in the multi-channel input and output mode I don't know I haven't even went and installed Jack yet. Now, I apologize if you hear any handling noise of me handling the phone, or I mean the phone, <laughs> the uh, microphone. Um, I'm holding a Shure SM58 and doing this voiceover as I'm using the Pinebook. So I'm doing this in real time here. Um, oh yeah, it's already open here. So, I haven't installed Jack or QJack Control. Let's see what we get here real quick. And, you know, I haven't had any issues. I've been running it for a day or so. And it's been perfectly fine. I've had zero issues. Um, no problems out of it. So... I'm pretty happy with this whole experience, but it may just be a thing that GNOME has been like, hey, <laughs> let's add this other option for some reason. Uh, maybe they're trying to make it less confusing. Maybe they're trying to make it more confusing. I don't know. You never know with GNOME. Um, but, you know, I really like the ARM architecture. I, I just like how things are smooth. I don't have annoying loud fans going on all the time. I like the Pine Book a lot. Uh, I own now own three ARM desktop machine. So, sure, I have an iPad that runs an A12X, which is an ARM processor. I have an iPhone, which runs an ARM processor. But I now have. Not only the Pinebook Pro, which is runs the Rock Chip RK3399, which is the six-core chip, 
from Pinebook Pro, or from Pine64, I'm sorry. I also have an M1 Mac Mini, which runs the Apple Silicon M1, which is based on ARM. And I just got in the mail Saturday a new ARM machine from Samsung, and it's not a Chromebook. It runs Windows. And I promise you, I promise you, by Christmas of this year, I'll figure out how to get Linux to work on it. It's a Samsung Galaxy Book Go. And it's running the... It's a Qualcomm 7C Gen 2. It's an 8-core chip with two high-performance cores and uh, six efficiency cores, I'm, I think. I could be wrong about that. It could be 4 and 4, but I'm pretty sure it's 2 and 6. So, it its only downfall is it has a 1080p screen. It's very, very similar to the Pinebook Pro. The screen's a little nicer on the Pinebook Pro, to be honest with you, than the Samsung. But I got it for like 200 and. 60 bucks on Amazon. I think somebody ordered it thinking it was more powerful than what it was. I bought it. Uh, it was just a return to Amazon. And the keyboard is great. It's got US, two USB-C ports. Um, it's got... Uh, it's over there. I think it has an HDMI port. I know it has a, a regular um, USB port. It's only downfalls. It has 4 gigs of RAM, but it has 128 gig SSD. And it has a uh, micro SD card slot. Now, they have a another version that's supposed to come out. It was supposed to come out last month and it still hasn't come out that has 8 gigs of RAM and LTE. I think that computer would benefit from 8 gigs of RAM, but hey, normally the computer is 349. I paid a little over 250 bucks for it because it was returned. It had it came in the original box. And if you would have bought it on a store shelf, you wouldn't even, you know, you wouldn't even have known it had been bought and returned. So whoever bought it didn't uh, realize, realize they got the wrong thing. <laughs> so it is what it is. But if you know what this pro audio option is here, please let me know in the comments or point me to an article or a uh, video that explains this. Also, remember, if you put in a, uh, a link to a website in the comments of any YouTube video, your comment will automatically disappear. I can't stop it. YouTube automatically does it. So if you're going to give me a link to somewhere, leave out the main end and put a couple spaces and write dot com or whatever out in letter, full letters. Don't put the you know a period in com, C-O-M write the words literally dot com out and that way the link will always be there all right guys and gals thank you for hanging out here with me for the past few minutes and uh if you have any answers for me hit me up all right guys and gals we'll see you next time have a great day y'all